the right deal for you. Back at AA Kyle Army for round 12 of the Bankman Touring Car Series and its championship leader, Janil de Villiers, on pole position. The new car of Anthony Taylor taking him to second position, followed by Sean Watson-Smith. And you'll see there that the top nine cars covered by just on a second. It's going to be a race of strategy. Uh, the strategy is a little a little more tricky than I would have liked. I would like to have been on pole and, and been able to dictate the pace on my own. Now the strategy is more up to the other guys. Uh, first of all, I have to try and stay with them and, and then see who's, who's going to be quicker. Everybody's doing more or less the same time, so it's going to boil down to who's the quickest in the race, whose car is working, working the best at that time. Daniil de Villiers leads the rest of the field slowly around Gostetna. Once again, the nerves building up, Marco. Jonathan, the, the adjusting of positions again, you can see everyone moving from left to right again, sort of looking for the best position and sort of trying to strategize where they're going to go for that first corner to be safe and not to be hit off. And the green light goes for round 12 of the Bank Fin Touring Car Series. Coming towards us on the right-hand side, Janil de Villiers just sneaks in front of Anthony Taylor. In third position, Sean Watson-Smith, the two BMWs who finished first and second in the last race. They're right behind... Sean Watson-Smith in car with championship leader Janil de Villiers looking backwards at Anthony Taylor. That new car of his really is something special, isn't it? Janil at the moment I think is in a great position, but Anthony's right with him. I think what Anthony really wants is to pull away from Sean, basically, then he can sort of fight with Janil. At the moment I think Anthony's trying to, to uh, ride a protective line so Sean can't pass him, and I think uh, Janil's going to get away by Anthony doing this. Of the slower corners at AA Kyle Army. There's Marco de Santos. You know, you had a go down the inside there. And Chris Avedin uh, sort of closing the door on me. Uh, rightly so, I would have done the same thing, but uh, you know, that's what sort of bank material cars are all about. It's nice and tight. In car with Sean van der Linde in the Sassel BMW, winner of round 11. Marco, you seem to be a little bit back from where you were earlier in the season. We're used to you being on the podium. Jonathan, I think it's the case of. I don't think I've gone slower. I think everyone else has just gone a little bit quicker now. Uh, I think I can put it down to not enough track time and testing, you know. Our budgets don't allow for us to go testing as much as the works drivers, and I think that just all caught up to me now, but I'm definitely going to try to do something about it for the next race. Vodacom for the first time as we head towards the Yokohama kink. Anthony Taylor in second position has a look on the outside. Difficult corner, this. You can see Anthony's. he could have dived on the inside now of Janil, but I think he's basically trying to place himself just sort of weighing out options and seeing where Janil is slower than he is and I think he'll be diving in any minute now. Second BP Nissan of Duncan Foss chases Janil de Villiers who we look at from the back with second place Anthony Taylor. Anthony's car at this stage looking very good. I think you can see power wise that Audi is really up to scratch now with the Nissan. Janil trying I think very hard but not being able to break away from Anthony. And Anthony likes throwing that car around. Yes he does. He's, uh, sort of driver but uh, you can see he's working very hard this weekend and we will look back at Duncan Foss in the second BP Nissan from Sean van der Linde's car once again the right-handed Goodyear is this flat out uh, sunset it's got a little bit of a break it's just before you hit sort of your your rev limiter in fourth gear just before you get to sunset uh, and then you let sort of feed the power in very 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 softly and then before you get out of sunset you basically flat again yes now this is what the crowd have come to see, six or seven cars in a line, flat out together, covering four manufacturers. Excellent race, I think the Bank of Touring Cars lately has been proved to be a great series. Uh, as you can see, the, the racing is excellent, there's a fight up front, there's a fight in the midfield. And you're fighting there with Terry Moss and Chris Aberdeen. Somewhere you don't want to be is uh, amongst two Audis, one in front of you and one behind you, I think it's, uh, it's every driver's nightmare. Go from the fastest part of the track down the mine shaft and then the tight right hander at Vodacom. Lap three, still Janil de Villiers, championship leader. Followed by Anthony Taylor. Anthony wants to win this race. He needs a win. Well, Janil at the moment, I think, is pulling around. I think Anthony is, like I said, driving a protective line at the moment and he's able, Janil, to get a, a, way, a little away from him. But... And Sean Watson Smith having a go. The touch there. Sean uh, and Anthony just touched a little bit as they. Uh, as they did in the first. Sean being a little naughty, they're going over the sand a bit, but uh, nothing wrong. Uh, he saw a little bit of a gap. He uh, managed to get his nose in there and then saw that Anthony closed the door and rightly so braked. So it's Janil de Villiers, Anthony Taylor. There's Duncan Foss. 
second in the championship, 50 points behind his team leader and teammate, Janil de Villiers, through the Yokohama kink again. Quick right, quick left, and uh, it seems like uh, Watson Smith's got a problem. Jonathan, I think it's a case of uh, them touching up at West Bank. I said that the race before that, you know... His wheel's all over the place, then. You can't really touch, you know, you'll get away with it for the first or second time, but eventually something's going to break, and I think uh, his suspension sort of snapped there. Same uh, scenario as the first heat. And there is Sean Watson-Smith, a rather disappointing, in fact, a very disappointing Kyle Army for Sean Watson-Smith, the guy from PE. Move on to lap seven. Janil de Villiers building up a, quite a substantial lead now. I think Anthony is settled for second place at this stage of the race. Uh, if nothing goes wrong, I think uh, Janil can have it in the bag. Um, but if the BMs have got anything to do with it, so I think they're going to try as hard as they can and basically try to catch Anthony. So the race is not over yet. Well, we're looking from Duncan Foss's car ahead into Sean van der Linde and in front of him, teammate Michael Briggs. They've swapped round from round 11. Michael Briggs ran second to Sean van der Linde, up once again to West Bank. Looks like van der Linde's going to have a go on the inside. Well, Michael Briggs just sort of cut his nose off there. I thought he would have let uh, Sean van der Linde through there. Duncan's putting a lot of pressure on him. Obviously no team orders from BMW. Squeezes Duncan out a little bit. This corner now coming up the, the mineshaft, very committing corner. The car's sort of out of sorts, we're doing over 200 k's an hour in a very hard braking corner now into the bowl. Great op overtaking opportunity if you get the corner right. Well, Duncan had a look uh, at down the inside of Sean van der Linde. He's now got Dion Joubert looking down the inside of him, on, now on the outside. Joubert seems to be coming back into the race here. Uh, he must be loving it, you know, fighting it with the leaders again. I don't think Opel's done that in a while, but it's great for the series and great for Opel. Well, Dion Joubert, a man who's gone over to the States to race stock cars. Foss over has there. gone a little bit wide there, Jonathan. Yeah, and Dion is having a go at Duncan Foss. A bit of a bump, or wing mirrors together. I think at this stage of the race, you're going to see a lot of do or die maneuvers. You know, it's coming to the end of the race and uh, the drivers are going to want to jostle for position. Well, Dion has certainly jostled his way past Duncan Foss. He's now after the two BMWs, as we see them there on lap nine, coming into the Vodacom Bowl once again. There's Taylor in front of them, Sean van der Linde. We see going off to the Yokohama Kink, which de Villiers is already through. He's four or five seconds ahead. It looks like the competitors now settle down into position. Do, do you actually do that? No, at this stage, you know, the way that the field is spread out now, you would say so, but I can guarantee you someone's going to try something to try to get the position ahead, or um, no, I don't think the fun's over yet. In car with Anthony Taylor and de Villiers. It, that was de Villiers who just went past. I think he must have an electrical problem. It looks like the car's just gone just dead. Just stopped. Just stopped. Anthony Taylor, for the first time this year, in the lead in the NGN Audi. He's followed by the two BMWs. And Janil de Villiers is out of the race. This is an unbelievable surprise. We've only seen that a couple of times this year. Anthony must be screaming in the car. He's going to have to compose himself now and hopefully he can hold it together for the end of the race. Lap 11 with one lap to go into Clubhouse. Anthony Taylor leads round 12 of the Bank Pin Touring Car Series. The two BMWs dicing it out and Dion Joubert down the inside. He's, he's got the legs on the BMW. Now that is a case of, I don't, I don't understand what happened there, you know, between Michael and Sean. I think they should have I think Michael was leading, you should have let Sean through. It's the case of him holding up Sean now, and Dion's basically benefited from them fighting. And here comes Duncan Foss on the inside of them as they come up to West Bank on lap 11. Bit of smoke from Dion Joubert. Is Duncan going to have a look around the outside? He certainly is. You can do it around the outside there, Jonathan, but uh, like you see now, you don't have the drive out of West Bank. But as I said, you can see the, the, the racing is just beginning and it's the last lap. I think everyone's sort of caught up now with the, with the adjusting of position. Well, Duncan Voss is on the grass. And where has he gone? I think oh, Sean's there he is. going to be there careful there. Great driving there by front Sean van Linde. I think he saw Duncan coming across the circuit. There's no way you can stop if you go over the sand there. Well, they, slowed both, uh, they both slowed down, letting you and Mark Peters through. This is what happens, you know, when you start the last lap, you're trying to fight for position and uh, you basically slow each other down. And I've just gained two positions from that. Michael Briggs with a bumper hanging off his BMW. And Jonathan, the thing you can see at the moment um, from that little incident at the bowl, my left rear suspension snapped now, or it's hanging by a thread really, and I'm battling to, to control the car. Well, the biggest loser there, Sean von der Linde, comes from about third position, and he had to keep out of the way of Duncan Foss, and he's down in about seventh. But Anthony Taylor on the final lap of round 12 of the Bank Pin Touring Car Series, he must be smiling, he must be edging his car forward. I think at this stage he's uh, more nervous than anything else. And in eighth position, Terry Moss loses it. He's in. Is he going to get out of there? It looks... Yes, he is. The engine Audi pulls away. He loses one position. 
We're back in the bowl. This is for the lead. Anthony Taylor, Dion Joubert right up behind him. Late breaking for both of them, Dion. There wasn't, gonna a go good, for there wasn't a good move, Jonathan, you know. But I think, you know, at that late stage of the race, he was trying, you know, he wants the race win. But as you can see, the big gap now, he broke way too late on the outside. There's no grip out of there. And uh, I think Anthony's got it. Well, it was do or die for both of them. Both the manufacturers, Audi and Opel, going for a first win this year. It's Anthony Taylor, who looks like he's going to take his first win in the Bankfin Touring Car Series of 1999 and the first win as well for Engine Audi this year. Great drive from Anthony Taylor. He uh, kept his head for the last three or four laps and it looks like the Audi, t the Audi team is going to be a force to be reckoned with for the rest of the season. Another delighted man, Dion Joubert in second. The Englishman Mark Peters from nowhere on the grid to third. But it's a delighted Anthony Taylor who takes his first win in Bankfin Touring Car Series. I'll tell you what, when I saw Janiel fall out of the race, well, I just had to keep it all together. I nearly started crying. I, I tell you, the concentration was more than I've ever had to concentrate before. Can you believe it? Three different manufacturers on the podium. I, think, I don't think we've ever seen this this, this year. Well, it's different from seeing Nissan 1, 2, 3, and Anthony Taylor enjoys the spoils of a first win in the Bankfin Touring Car Series. But it is Nissan who pick up the team prize by one point from BMW. Next round at the Pakisa Freeway and welcome on the 11th of September.